day. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into your energy and we'll take a look at the cards and see what we have for you. Okay, Aquarius? All right. Aquarius season, huh? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay. We have strategy in the reverse. Okay, indecision. All right, so it looks to me right now you're trying to make a choice, Aquarius. You are at what I would call the crossroads, okay? And that's what most tarot readers call it, the crossroads, anyway. But you're at a crossroads, and I feel in the past there was something uh, in love you were dealing with, okay? A situation where you had maybe not fully thought out exactly how this relationship was going to go. But I see here with the um, fifth chakra, you're wanting to actually communicate here in this future energy and maybe move forward after you make a decision. But you're kind of in indecision land or you're at least you're in the middle. I want to say everything is kind of in the air and you're trying to figure out exactly what this choice is that you want to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into clarity. Clarity, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Clear and concise messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. Forgot to shuffle these before I did my reading, so I want to make sure they're nice and shuffled. All right, Aquarius, we have, here it is, the Eight of Wands, communication. All right, I feel there was someone you were maybe communicating with in the past, Temperance in reverse. Um, this is not a new person. This is someone that you know. Okay. And you maybe took action towards them or they take action towards you. But we also have an impatient energy. Maybe the communication between both of you was imbalanced in this past energy and it wasn't working very well. Yeah. Ace of Cups in reverse. I also feel like someone is holding their emotions back or not communicating their emotions right now. Could be you. Could be the other person, Aquarius. But this is causing indecision. I think that you may want to actually express your emotions, but you're having a hard time doing it, okay? And with temperance here in the reverse, um, you may be thinking just a little bit too hard here, all right? You may be in your head as opposed to in your heart or in your emotions. Um, someone may have pulled back their emotions from you in this past energy, but this is good communication here with the Eight of Wands. Tell me about indecision, please. Tell me about indecision for Aquarius. Tell me about indecision. Okay, yeah, this is all about holding emotions back and not expressing them. Okay, could be you, could be your person that you're dealing with. I feel there is emotion here um, because you have good communication with this person. You could be dealing with a water sign, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius here, or both in their chart. But yeah, you got some definite good communication, but emotions are being affected. Maybe you're holding on to your emotions, Aquarius, and you don't know whether or not you should actually express it towards this person. Okay, we just saw the Three of Swords. There could have been some heartache here, okay, or your person had it. Uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse, wow. Okay, one more. You're not sure whether or not this is something you want to work on. Ah, this is why. Here's your card, Aquarius, the star. So you're you're currently healing something in your life or you're you're trying to take care of yourself, and I think that there's a possibly a lot on your plate that that this this relationship you're having a very hard time uh dealing with it while you deal with yourself at the same time. Um this is causing more indecision, okay? This is causing you to be kind of, like I said, at the crossroads of trying to make a choice about what you want to do next. But I feel in this future energy, Aquarius, you're going to start communicating, all right? You're going to be honest and open, and I feel, quite frankly, the other person may. I don't know if you're going to express emotions or if you're going to hold them back more or if you're going to say, I don't have emotion, but either way, there will be the lines of communication open between you and this person. All right. We have seven of cups. You want to make the right choice. And I feel that you you want to present all of, excuse my stomach just growled. Um, You want to present all of these different 
you know, options that you have in your life with this person. Also, you could be dealing with options in your life too. But you want to make sure that you com communicate clearly and concisely what it is that this relationship has to offer and you have to offer it. Two swords. Yeah, there's confusion and indecision. I feel like someone has some serious info, like, issues, okay? And I feel this is you, Aquarius. Like, there's a lot going on right now in your life and that you're just, you're just very confused. And you're, you're going to be expressing that, okay? There may be just too much that... Like with the Seven of Cups, you just too many choices, too many things going on. And therefore, you're confused. Okay. One more. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse. So this is making it difficult for you to actually focus on... Um, what happens next okay you've you've probably really been trying hard to focus on career as well and on money and trying to you know just get somewhere okay the challenge on the bottom of the deck here we have is two of wands in the reverse so you may have actually left it up to this person or they have left it up to you right now they may be kind of like well, this is this is Aquarius's deal. They need to they need to handle it on their own. And they've this is the two of wands in reverse for me is literally dropping the ball in the other person's court when it comes to love. OK, so I think that what's actually happening here is the challenge of understanding that you're handling something on your own. OK, and um, you're trying to remain focused and actually communicating with this other person who has literally, they may have pulled back their energy a little bit here with the Ace of Cups. They're maybe trying to let you handle things on your own, right? So to understand that the ball is in your court, maybe this is all about you needing to, before you go on something new, you need to actually take care of your own things first, right? And maybe you're having a really hard time wondering if this is going to work. Okay, let's get three more cards, past, present, future energy. Then we're going to get a um, an oracle card. Temperance. Okay, so some of you are definitely dealing with someone who has heavy Sagittarius in their chart. Um, yeah, there is a need here for, for patience, and I think this person knows it. Okay, I think they know that in the past here, there was, maybe they were impatient or you were impatient, but... Um, Somebody, somebody really tried to balance out this situation or they, they at least were tr are trying to now here from the past. They understand or you understand that it's going to require more patience. Okay. Tell me more. Present energy. Present energy, please. Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to decide whether this is a situation you want to actually commit to or if this person is committed to you. I feel as though you want this, but at the same time, you're holding back your emotions for it. You're not investing emotionally. And I feel like something's going to give, Aquarius. Like, you're going to break down, not break down, but like, break down your confusion and start opening up in the future here. I really do feel that with the fifth chakra. Um, one more for future energy for Aquarius. One more future energy for Aquarius. Okay. Hermit in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so you've been hyper-focused internally. You've maybe isolated yourself and you may still do this for a time in this future energy. You, you're, you're coming out of it slowly, but I feel with the Hermit energy, you're just, you, you're having a hard time trusting yourself because I feel there's a lot of confusion going on and you're trying to heal. So maybe this is about literally doing the healing process on your own, right? And maybe you're afraid that if this person, you know, you don't express how you feel, they're going to, you know, they're going to run off or something like that. Okay. Let's get you some Oracle cards. We want three pieces of advice for Aquarius. Three pieces of advice for Aquarius, please. Three pieces of advice for Aquarius. Okay. Show the world the real you. Here you are, Aquarius. Yeah, this is all about you right now. Okay, with the star card and this one, all right? This is about you healing yourself. I don't feel like this person's going anywhere anytime soon. They may understand that this is an unconventional, possible, possibly unconventional relationship. But you guys have a vibe. 
I'm picking up on it. We have more Sagittarius energy. Luck is on your side. So you guys definitely are connecting with a Sagittarius or it could be another air sign or they have this in their chart. Um, something to keep in mind about Sagittarius energy, Aquarius, is it's a very expansive energy. My main energy signature in my chart is actually Sagittarius. Um, even though I'm a Pisces sun, I have main fire in my chart. So um, you could be dealing with a water sign in the same vein, right? But they have Sagittarius in their chart. So Sagittarius energy is a very expansive energy, very massive. And this is very good for the sign of Aquarius, uh, something that I've actually been studying in astrology more along the lines of relationships is that Sagittarius is, can be a very good match for the sign of Aquarius because um, the way that Aquarius minds generally are is, you know, they need that expansive, you know, no rose colored goggles, like can you shift your perspective kind of person and Sagis are really good at that. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with someone who has that in their chart and it doesn't have to be their sun sign, the, you could be vibing really well. And that's what I'm picking up on here, Sag, uh, Sagi, <laughs> Aquarius. That's what I'm picking up on here. Okay, some of you guys may have Virgo in your chart or Taurus as well. All right, or you could have Sagi. One more card. Okay, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, Capricorn energy. So you or they could have Capricorn moon or Capricorn... Uh, uh, somewhere in their chart. I feel moon or something like that, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. So yeah, Aquarius, this is what I'm saying here. This is going to come to an end. All right. The cycle that you're going through, some of you guys are really trying to heal something hardcore. And um, I feel you'll be able to open up proper communication with your person here. But we'll explore that in the extended. We'll explore the, their feelings, where this is heading, and we'll see what happens after that. All right, one more Oracle card for you. I may pull you guys a lover's card because I, I just, I love that deck so much. We have empowerment. Okay, so yeah, Aquarius, this is your season right now, and you guys, <laughs> you're going through it. Okay, some of you guys are really going through a, a massive stage where all your energy is is clearing away a bunch of garbage that you just don't need anymore and you're becoming empowered okay and i think that this relationship maybe there's something about it that empowers you okay um and yet you're very very confused maybe we can get some more advice about that in the extended by the way guys if you like this please like this video subscribe all that business share it and um down below, you'll see a link to my Patreon where all my extendeds for six bucks a month are available. You can go there and check this one out. It'll be posted today. All right. One lover's oracle card. Tell me about love, please, for Aquarius. Tell me about love for Aquarius. One love card. My beloved. Wow. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. Yeah, you've got a connection here with someone, okay? But right now, due to your current circumstances and what you're trying to heal, Aquarius, I feel that it's definitely interrupting what's happening, okay? And you may feel like you can't actually, you know, strategize the situation because your mind is elsewhere. Okay, so guys, come join me for the extended. We'll take a look at your person. See you there. Bye.